up everyone barrister here going back to the basics you know it's basic sunday haven't done a review in a while haven't played the guitar in a while figure what the hell let's get out here before the uh, eagles demolish the uh los angeles rams get a little review in it's october so why not uh do an october fest beer am i right i was gonna do one yesterday but i was a little tired i uh participated in that uh, pink elephant run great cause by the way had a really good time and if i don't say so myself i think i had a pretty decent time running i was shooting for uh under 30 minutes i got it did 29.42 hopefully next year i'll go a little bit faster who knows if i keep this uh running up i'm gonna try i think it's good for your health you know probably a lot better for my health than this but you only live once am i right anyway it was a great cause so if you can uh, participate next year you 100 percent do it was really good awesome turnout thanks to all the volunteers everyone put it together it was a good time good time but uh let me get back to this uh beer review like i said i haven't done one in a, a long time and i figured it was uh, appropriate since it's october nice windy fall day today to do an Oktoberfest. so let's uh get it open and see how it tastes this is from uh the iron hill brewery it's their uh october fest lager Iron Hill Breweries out in uh, Exton, Pennsylvania. Exton, Pennsylvania gets a few extra points today because they're in Chester County. And Chester County is off tomorrow, unlike Montgomery County, where I have to go to work. I don't understand why Montgomery County is open tomorrow, or Delaware County. I'm supposed to have off tomorrow. It's Columbus Day. I've been off my entire life. All of a sudden, it's not a holiday. The banks aren't open. Why are these two courts open? I don't know. I digress. But anyway, a few points for uh, Chester County. I rarely, I rarely have anything good to say about that county because I uh, lose every single time I'm there doing my cases. But they get a uh, thumbs up for being off tomorrow. So let's see how the uh, boys over at Iron Hill Brewery do their Oktoberfest lager. Pour this in. All right, from a pure pouring standpoint, I already lose. There's absolutely no head on this beer. If I was over in Germany and they handed me this, I would probably be upset. I recall being in Germany and getting beers and watching the bartender religiously shave off the uh, heads of beer. It was so awesome, so good. I think this one should have a little bit more of a head. I don't know if it's because of the way I poured it, how it is, who knows. But Let's see how it tastes. Cheers. All right. It's ice cold, smooth. Got a little bit different taste than the lagers I'm used to. To taste the caramel on it. I don't know what else I'm tasting, but uh, it's not that bad. Got like a little weird aftertaste towards the end. I don't know if that's uh, intentional. I couldn't tell you. But uh, if you're in Oktoberfest lager beers, you should probably try this out. You might like it. I'm going to go 7.1. I'm definitely going to finish this in the uh, four-pack I got. Cost me $14.99, you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, this is solid, solid beer. 6% ABV, so it's a little bit on the, uh, not the high side, but the higher side. Eh. 7.1 Iron Hill Brewery, Oktoberfest. All right, everyone, enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Go watch the Eagles kick some ass, and... I'll see you again with another video. I don't know when. Like I said, I've been doing these uh, sporadically lately. Got to get back into the habit, I think. All right. Talk to everyone soon. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. I am out. See you.